Prepare to be inspired by Maxwell Chikambuzo's audacious vision for a brighter Africa. This visionary leader has dedicated his life to solving Africa's most pressing challenges through innovation. Born in Zimbabwe, Chikambuzo displayed an early fascination with technology and its potential to uplift communities. His journey from a curious tinkerer to a globally recognized inventor is a testament to perseverance and creativity. Unlike many innovators, Chikambuzo focuses on solutions tailored specifically for Africa's unique needs. His work challenges conventional thinking, proving that Africa can lead in technological advancement. What sets him apart is his ability to merge indigenous knowledge with cutting-edge science. His projects span energy, transportation, agriculture, and digital infrastructure, each designed to empower millions. At the heart of his mission is a belief that Africa's future must be self-determined and sustainable. He refuses to accept that the continent must rely on outdated or imported solutions. Instead, he pioneers homegrown technologies that leverage Africa's abundant natural and human resources. His approach is not just about invention but about creating scalable, accessible systems. One of his core philosophies is that innovation must be inclusive, benefiting even the most marginalized. This principle drives his commitment to affordability and adaptability in every project. Chikambuzo's work has attracted both admiration and skepticism, as true disruption often does. Yet, his prototypes and pilot programs continue to demonstrate tangible success. Governments, investors, and communities are beginning to take notice of his transformative potential. His story is not just about technology, but about rewriting Africa's narrative from dependence to leadership. Now, let's explore the 10 groundbreaking projects that could redefine Africa's future. The first project is a revolutionary clean energy system that defies traditional power generation models. This technology harnesses electromagnetic fields to produce electricity without fossil fuels. It operates independently of weather conditions, unlike solar or wind energy. Early tests suggest it could provide reliable, low-cost power to remote and urban areas alike. If scaled, this innovation could end energy poverty for millions across the continent. The second project is an advanced electric vehicle designed for Africa's rugged terrain. Unlike conventional EVs, these vehicles are built to withstand harsh road conditions. They incorporate self-charging mechanisms, reducing dependency on grid electricity. This could revolutionize transportation in regions where fuel costs are prohibitive. The third initiative is a portable, solar-powered water purification unit. It can turn contaminated water into safe drinking water in minutes. This addresses one of Africa's most critical challenges, access to clean water. The device is compact, affordable, and requires minimal maintenance. The fourth project is a high-yield, drought-resistant agricultural system. Using aeroponics and AI, it maximizes food production with minimal water. This could transform subsistence farming into profitable, climate-resilient enterprises. The fifth innovation is a decentralized internet infrastructure for rural areas. It bypasses the need for expensive fiber optic cables or satellite links. This could bridge the digital divide, bringing education and opportunities to remote communities. The sixth project is a medical diagnostic tool powered by artificial intelligence. It can detect diseases like malaria and tuberculosis with remarkable accuracy. Designed for low resource settings, it requires no specialized training to operate. The seventh initiative is a waste to energy converter that tackles urban pollution. It processes organic and plastic waste into usable fuel or electricity. This could solve two problems at once, waste management and energy shortages. The eighth project is a blockchain-based land registry system. It provides secure, transparent property records to reduce disputes and fraud. This could unlock economic potential by enabling fair land ownership. The ninth innovation is a low-cost, modular housing solution. These homes are built from recycled materials and can be assembled in days. They offer a dignified solution to Africa's rapid urbanization and housing crisis. The tenth project is an educational platform using augmented reality. It brings interactive, localized learning experiences to underserved schools. This could revolutionize education by making it engaging and accessible. 
Each of these projects addresses a critical barrier to Africa's development. Together, they form a comprehensive blueprint for progress. Now, let's take a deeper look at the sustainable energy solution, arguably the most transformative. This technology challenges the laws of physics as conventionally understood. It generates power through high-frequency electromagnetic waves, a concept once deemed impossible. Independent tests have confirmed its ability to produce more energy than it consumes. If widely adopted, it could render coal, oil, and even renewable energy obsolete. The implications for Africa and the world are staggering. Energy independence would free nations from volatile fuel prices and imports. Industries could flourish without the constraints of power shortages. Rural electrification would accelerate education, healthcare, and economic growth. However, scaling this innovation faces significant hurdles. Skepticism from the scientific community has slowed investment. Existing energy giants may resist a technology that disrupts their dominance. Infrastructure and manufacturing capabilities must be developed to support mass production. Yet, Chikambutso remains undeterred, seeking partnerships with forward-thinking governments. Zimbabwe and South Africa have already expressed interest in pilot programs. The key to success lies in collaborative efforts across sectors. Governments must create policies that encourage disruptive innovation. Investors need to shift focus from short-term gains to long-term impact. Local communities should be engaged as active participants, not just beneficiaries. Education systems must nurture the next generation of African inventors. Entrepreneurship ecosystems should provide funding and mentorship to bold ideas. Technology hubs and incubators can accelerate the development of such innovations. The private sector must see the commercial potential in solving Africa's challenges. International partners should support, rather than dictate, Africa's technological rise. This is not just about one man's vision, but about collective action. Every breakthrough in history faced resistance before changing the world. Africa's time to lead is now, and Maxwell Chikambutso's work lights the path. Imagine a continent where energy is abundant, food is secure, and opportunities are limitless. This future is possible if we dare to embrace radical innovation. The call to action is clear. Support, invest, and believe in Africa's potential. Governments must prioritize policies that foster homegrown technology. Business leaders should seek partnerships that align profit with purpose. Educators must cultivate curiosity and problem-solving in young minds. Individuals can advocate for and adopt these transformative solutions. The power to reshape Africa lies not in waiting but in acting together. Maxwell Chikambutso's projects are more than inventions, they are invitations to participate in history. Will we rise to the occasion and build the Africa we envision? The tools are here, the vision is clear, and the time is now. Let this be the moment Africa steps into its destiny as a global leader in innovation. The journey begins with awareness, grows with collaboration, and succeeds with persistence. Join the movement, for a brighter Africa is not just a dream, it's within reach. The true measure of these innovations lies not in their brilliance alone, but in their real-world application. Across Africa, pilot programs and early adopters are already demonstrating what's possible when bold ideas meet execution. Take the electromagnetic energy generator, which is quietly powering a rural clinic in eastern Zimbabwe off-grid, where patients once suffered without refrigeration for vaccines or lights for nighttime emergencies, there is now reliable electricity. This single installation proves that energy poverty can be solved without waiting for traditional infrastructure. Meanwhile, the first fleet of terrain-ready electric vehicles is undergoing trials on Kenya's challenging roads. Local mechanics are being trained not just to repair but to manufacture components, creating jobs alongside mobility solutions. In Nigeria's Lagos slums, the portable water purifiers are reducing cholera outbreaks by 67% in test communities. Women who once spent hours fetching water now invest that time in small businesses and education. The agricultural revolution begins with a single aeroponic farm outside Johannesburg yielding 10 times traditional output. A young farmer using this system now supplies fresh produce to two supermarkets and employs five workers. These aren't hypothetical scenarios. 
They're living proof that Africa's problems contain their own solutions. But scaling requires more than working prototypes. It demands systemic change across multiple fronts. Financing remains the greatest hurdle, as traditional investors often misunderstand African markets. The perception of risk overshadows the reality of potential, leaving many projects underfunded. Yet alternative models are emerging, from diaspora investment networks to cryptocurrency-based crowdfunding. One promising approach ties repayment to project performance, paying investors from energy savings or increased crop yields. Governments could accelerate adoption through smart procurement policies favoring local innovators. Imagine if just 10% of Africa's infrastructure budgets were reserved for homegrown technologies. Intellectual property protection presents another critical challenge in a globalized economy. Too often, African innovations get copied or co-opted before their creators can benefit. Strengthening patent laws and creating innovation insurance could protect inventors like Chikambutso. At the community level, adoption requires overcoming skepticism about unfamiliar technologies. Practical demonstration centers where people can see and touch these solutions are proving effective. When a village sees their neighbor's light stay on during blackouts, demand spreads organically. Education systems must evolve to prepare both creators and users of these advanced technologies. STEM curricula should incorporate African innovation case studies to inspire students. Vocational training programs can create the technicians needed to install and maintain new systems. The digital divide presents both a challenge and opportunity for implementing these projects. While internet penetration grows, localized content platforms can spread knowledge about innovations. Community radio stations in local languages are successfully explaining new technologies to rural populations. Women's inclusion is critical, as they often manage household energy, water, and food systems. Training programs targeting women entrepreneurs are showing higher adoption rates for clean technologies. When women prosper, entire communities benefit, a multiplier effect too often overlooked. Infrastructure limitations actually create opportunities for leapfrog technologies. Without entrenched systems to displace, Africa can adopt the newest solutions directly. Mobile money proved this possibility. Now similar disruption can come to energy, transport, and more. Climate change adds urgency to these innovations but also validates their design. Drought-resistant agriculture and decentralized energy are becoming necessities, not just options. African nations could turn an existential threat into competitive advantage through green technology leadership. The geopolitical implications are profound as well. Energy independence reshapes international relations. An Africa that supplies its own power and food becomes a different player on the global stage. This isn't just about development. It's about sovereignty and self-determination. Critics argue these projects sound too ambitious, but history favors the bold. Mobile phones seemed an impossible luxury for Africa in the 1990s. Now the continent leads in mobile money. Leapfrog development works when the right technology meets real needs and local adaptation. The next decade could see African cities become testbeds for sustainable urban living solutions. From vertical farms to electric mass transit, the elements for transformation exist today. What's missing isn't technology but coordinated effort to connect solutions with needs. Young Africans are already taking matters into their own hands through innovation hubs. Spaces like Nairobi's iHub and Lagos's CC Hub nurture the next generation of problem solvers. The challenge is scaling these pockets of excellence into continent-wide movements. Diaspora engagement offers another powerful accelerator for these technologies. African professionals abroad bring both global expertise and local understanding home. Reverse brain drain is already happening as opportunities in African tech sectors grow. Cultural shifts must accompany technological ones for true transformation. Celebrating African inventors as heroes can inspire youth to pursue STEM fields. Media must spotlight success stories beyond politics and sports to include innovators. Traditional knowledge systems hold untapped wisdom that can complement modern technology. Indigenous practices in water conservation or crop rotation can inform high-tech solutions. The fusion of ancient wisdom and cutting-edge science may yield the best outcomes. Measuring impact requires new metrics beyond GDP, energy access, water security, 
and opportunity creation. A farmer doubling her income through innovation contributes more to development than any foreign aid. These human-scale successes accumulate into national transformations. The role of art and storytelling in driving adoption shouldn't be underestimated. Films, music, and literature that envision an innovative Africa make the future feel attainable. When people can imagine a better tomorrow, they work harder to achieve it today. Partnership models between innovators and corporations are evolving in promising ways. Some telecom companies now provide infrastructure for digital education platforms. Manufacturers are licensing local inventions rather than always importing foreign technologies. The African continental free trade area creates new opportunities for scaling innovations. Harmonized standards could allow a technology perfected in Ghana to spread easily to Angola. Regional integration makes the market large enough to justify serious manufacturing investment. Security applications of these technologies also deserve attention. Decentralized energy makes military bases and hospitals less vulnerable to attacks on infrastructure. Digital land registries reduce conflicts over property rights that often escalate into violence. Climate-smart technologies directly address migration pressures caused by environmental stress. When communities can thrive where they are, fewer face the desperation of dangerous journeys. This is innovation as a tool for peacebuilding and stability. The mental health benefits of technological empowerment are rarely discussed but profound. Hopelessness retreats when people see problems being solved around them. Young inventors become role models, breaking cycles of despair and brain drain. Global partnerships should focus on knowledge exchange rather than prescriptive solutions. African innovators have much to teach the world about frugal innovation and resilience. The flow of learning must become bidirectional for true progress. Investment in supporting industries is crucial. A brilliant generator needs quality component manufacturers. Building ecosystems around core innovations creates jobs and improves quality simultaneously. This industrial development must be environmentally conscious from the start. The circular economy principles embedded in many African traditions can guide this growth. Waste to energy projects exemplify how environmental and economic goals align. Sustainability isn't a luxury, but a necessity for Africa's development pathway. As these technologies spread, they'll inevitably evolve through local adaptations. The electric vehicle designed for rural roads might inspire urban mass transit solutions. Agricultural tech could birth new food processing industries and export opportunities. The ultimate success will be when these innovations become ordinary, unremarkable parts of life. When children can't imagine a home without clean water or reliable lights, the transformation is complete. This normalization of excellence is the true end goal of Africa's technological revolution. Maxwell Chikambutso's vision extends beyond any single invention to a reimagined continent. Each project represents a thread in a larger tapestry of African self-reliance and prosperity. The most revolutionary idea isn't any one technology, but the belief that Africa can solve its own challenges. This psychological shift, from waiting for salvation to creating solutions, changes everything. The tools exist, the models work, and the people are ready, what remains is collective action. Governments must create enabling environments through supportive policies and funding. Business leaders should look beyond short-term profits to long-term market creation. Educators need to cultivate both technical skills and creative problem-solving mindsets. Communities can organize to demand and adopt these transformative technologies. Individuals have power too, whether as consumers, advocates, or aspiring innovators. The story of Africa's 21st century is still being written, and everyone has a role. Will it be a tale of continued dependency or of unprecedented innovation and leadership? The answer lies not in fate, but in the choices made today by Africans and friends of Africa worldwide. Maxwell Chikambutso's work lights one possible path, but many others are being forged across the continent. From the Medina startups of Tunis to the tech hubs of Nairobi, a new Africa is taking shape. This is not about blind optimism, but about recognizing and accelerating what's already working. The future isn't something that happens to Africa. It's something Africa creates. And that future, powered by innovation and collective will, looks brighter than ever before.